well here we go again welcome back to the channel and in today's video we got another reaction man fresh and pale what do men want in women all right and so i know i've been out for about a week man i've been in this coding boot camp and it is going crazy man i've been busy all day trying to get this stuff knocked out but i just need to drop some content all right and so we're gonna watch this one we're gonna react we're gonna give our thoughts and opinions on this one but before we get into the video man make sure that you guys like this video comment down below in the comment section so we can have further conversations also man we on the way we on the way to 1k man so make sure you guys subscribe to the channel all right so with all that being said let's go ahead and get into this video real quick man let's go ahead you guys gotta understand that like for men well let's go around the table real quick what do you think men want and women we'll start here um, someone who's obviously going to be there for them for uh -huh. all their needs and wants. Yeah. Um, I'm always in a relationship, like the one giving 100%, um, making their food, doing their laundry, folding their clothes, like just doing the most. And I love doing that because I like am showing you that I appreciate you through that. Mm -hmm. Obviously gifts, dates, things like that. Um, be James. But, I mean, obviously. <laughs> you know, it's obviously that like, Yeah. All right. But oh, go ahead. that's pretty much it. That's it? Reciprocating right. love. Yeah. Okay, okay. Miriam, what do men want? Well, men love uh, somebody who is going to like show them love, uh, care about them. Uh -huh. You know, uh, they also want somebody who is uh, being themselves. I'm, I'm, I, I, I don't, I don't have like, sorry, uh, what is it? Sorry. What you see is what you get. Okay. I'm not going to pretend to be somebody else. Okay. You know, I'm so real. So like, men want you to be real. I don't, I don't have, I don't hide behind the bush. So, um, yeah, in a faithful woman. So yeah, I think that's what they want, and other things maybe they. I mean, I'm adventurous too. I like people that are adventurous, you know. Okay. People that like to like live life tricks. and accept life the way it is, and just you know, just. Okay. You said a lot. You said a lot. Said a lot. Say much, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I do want to talk about one one point that she made. It, it's very important. She, she said not beating around the bush. I think a lot of men do want a woman who's not going to be playing games. There's a lot of women that are going to play games. They're going to say this. They're going to say that. They're going to lead you on a little bit. And, and at that point, you're like, all right, bye. I'm, I'm done. That's what you should do. Just say, all right, I'm done. I, I'm not going to fool with somebody who is just playing these games. So it is very important. I think that's an important thing that she said right there. She, The rest of what she said is just kind of like some politically correct stuff. I think the first girl um, kind of said, a little bit of something that's politically correct is true or not i don't know but i'm gonna take her at her word saying that she loves to do all those things and, and that's correct you know what i'm saying but the other girl right there i i wanted to kind of just highlight that that point but let's continue with the rest of this video i think that give us like a top three just to be nice and succinct. i think like ride or die uh okay. loyalty loyalty uh -huh. and like something uh -huh. a, a bouncing board to bounce off like their mental you know okay. what I mean? Because I don't cook. I don't clean. I don't do that shit. Cardi B. Look, man. Y'all got to stop letting Cardi B influence. <laughs> the women got to stop, stop letting Cardi B influence their actions. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's probably not even Cardi B influencing. That's just probably how, how a lot of modern women are today. Cooking and cleaning. You know, I'm, I'm a guy who I like to cook. Not, not necessarily clean. I, I, I ain't with that. I like to cook, though. For, for somebody who grew up, my dad loved to cook. He was good at cooking. I like to cook. I like to grill. I like all that different stuff. I'm like I'm that Fourth of July person. I'm that Labor Day person. I'm, I'm that guy. I'm that person who who's doing a lot of the cooking and stuff like that. Uh, I like to take off days and the cooking as well. But at at my house, once I got my own house, you no, know, I'm just I'm about three years into the barbecue game. You know what I'm saying? So I, I ain't got a lot of uh, experience. But when I got my own crib, I was like, you know what? I'm buy a grill. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. So I like to cook and not not necessarily just grilling, but I like to. You know, so I like to get on the stove. I just like to do that. But every man don't like to do that. And so with that being said, um, you, you hear her talking and a lot of women, you, you're not going to have resources. I'm pretty, she probably got a maid or something at the crib. She probably got, you know what I'm saying? A butler. I, I don't know what she got, you know, but from apparently all these different shows she's doing, she probably got some type of compensation. And that's the girl, if you don't know who her uh ex-boyfriend paying for all her shit so <laughs> she she probably she probably got some money somewhere to do have somebody come in and do all these things but uh, i don't know if y'all know a lot of the times uh the maid usually be the side piece for the guy in the crib because she's the one doing all the work at the house but i digress we we're not gonna get into that kind of a conversation today but i do want to say a man wants his lady to be able to cook and clean not necessarily you know if you ain't got to do it that's different but being willing and able to do it you know that's that's the conversation that men want to have like you you got to be willing and able you, you don't necessarily have to like to cook and clean but you got to be willing and able to cook and clean you know what i'm saying and it don't take much to please 
guys. You know what I'm saying? Most guys will eat. You know, most guys ain't bougie when it comes to food. We hungry. If it, if it tastes decent, you ain't got to be no, you know, you ain't got to be no gourmet chef. You just got to know how to get it done. You know what I'm saying? So, and then especially for somebody who has a lot of money who coming home and, and their wife is, or a wife or girlfriend, whoever is at home most of the time, you, you got to take care of everything at the house. Everything at the house got to be done. That is your, the kids, whatever. All that stuff got to be done. If, if you at the crib, you're not doing anything in it. You got to do all that. You got to do all that. That's, that's your job. Your responsibility is to take care of the crib. So that's cooking, cleaning, mopping, sweeping, whatever that is. You know what I'm saying? Make sure food is done when it gets to the house. Got to be done. All that got to be done. All right. And so before we get all the way deep into the video, I also want to say what, what I, you know, personally want in a woman. I'm already married, but what, what I personally looked for in a woman. So let's, let's phrase it that way. Somebody who is cooperative, loyal, and not for the streets. That's that's my those are my biggest things. You know what I'm saying? Cooperative, loyal, and not for the streets. I want somebody who I can grow with, get it out of mud with, get it together, grow together. I'm only 25, and me and my wife are growing together. We get it in. All right, check. Cooperative. We talk to each other back and forth about different things. I give my opinion. She gives her opinions. We in this thing. We good. Check. Not for the streets. That's pro that's probably no. That's probably number one thing. <laughs> that's probably the number one thing. I feel like once you get that, the rest of that kind of falls in line. Once you get the not a whole part, the rest of it kind of falls in line from there. You know what I'm saying? For you know, it just falls in line. So let's go ahead and continue. Let's go ahead and continue. I'm not, I'm not washing your clothes. I'm not doing that. I'll, like, I'll get a. You know, I have someone who cleans my house. Mm. Like, I have those, and like, but. No, I'm not doing that for a man. I'm sorry. But I'm going to be there, like, intellectually, mentally, emotionally. Like, yeah, I'm a, I got you. You know what I mean? Like, in all ways. Um, yeah. Okay. okay. What happens right. if you don't get nobody right. to come clean the house uh, and stuff like that, though? peace, chastity, and... Uh, what's the third one? I'm sorry, what does chastity mean? Peace, chastity, <laughs> slash youth, you know, in the back of this. He's like, <laughs> and then, <laughs> and, you said uh, it, purity. Partner. Okay, and she's been here a couple of times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what about? I think they want a loyal hot maid. Yeah. That was my favorite. A loyal, loyal hot maid? Loyal hot maid. Hot oh, maid. Okay. Oh, I thought you said mate. Yeah. Mate, mate. Yeah, okay, clean. Okay. Obviously, I watch you guys, so... Oh, yeah, no, 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 you can't, you can't, you can't, All right, so I'll, I'll break it down for the ladies real quick. Yeah. One of the biggest things that men want in a woman, but they're never really going to say, is a girl that isn't a hoe, okay? Mm. Like, mm -hmm. they want a girl that's hot, attractive, and everything like that, but it, the thing is, in today's society, anytime a man exerts boundaries that represses a female sexuality, kind of like what your boyfriend was doing, saying, like, I don't want you going out and doing whatever, whatever yeah. they're going to say, basically, like, How dare you? like, you're trying to, you, you know, you're insecure, Control. small dick energy, you're controlling... Yeah, yeah, yeah. They use all these like, how do I say this? Shaming language for men for protecting his girl from herself. And the thing is, ladies, is that you guys just by existing, you get attention from men. And mm -hmm. whether you want to accept it or not, getting attention from men is cheating because you're keeping your options open. And you wait, 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 <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Look at her face right here. When <laughs> look, 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 look. Watch this. Attention. Watch her face when he says that. For men is cheating. Because you're keeping your options open. And when you keep your <laughs> options open, you basically have a first look. sale sign on your neck saying, sale when the car is already purchased. What? You know what I'm saying? That's what happens when you put pictures of yourself on the internet, sexy pictures of yourself out there at the club, you know, showing some skin, whatever it is. And men are very territorial with women. Uh -huh. You know I what disagree. I'm saying? That You disagree? Are, are, you, uh, are you a man? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying that. <laughs> I want to touch on that real quick before he finished. Um, the thing about the going out getting attention from me and put posting pictures on instagram the thing about that is if you do and you're looking for a woman who does that in the first place i'm gonna I'm a flip it if you're looking for a woman who do that in the first place you already behind the eight ball because then you coming in the relationship trying to change her natural ways the stuff that she's been doing all this time she's not gonna change that for you a lot of time, men got to start trying to change the women and find you another woman. You know what I'm saying? That's At least that's how I feel about it. If your woman was already doing that, she'd be out clubbing all night. You meet her in the club, she's not going to stop out going out clubbing for you. She's not going to stop doing that. You know what I'm saying? And on the flip side of that, what he's saying is, as a woman, if you want a man, keep a man long term, you can't be just going out to the club every single night, putting your stuff out there. The more exposed you are, the more opportunity um for something to go wrong the more likely something's gonna go bad so i agree 
a hundred percent what he's talking about because that's how it is. You know, you you gotta look. You gotta stop trying to look for these women in the wrong places, and, and women gotta stop looking for these men in the wrong places. You know what I'm saying? Because when you go into a relationship, you know what I'm saying, trying to transform somebody, <laughs> it's not gonna work. It is not going to work. You know, you they have to put it in themselves in order to change. For the person, the person can't come in and you're not going to be able to change nobody like that. You know, I, I, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong, but let me know down in the comment section below. But it, 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 I don't think it's going to work. It's been too many times men have met somebody in the club and then they get mad at the woman for doing what he saw her and what he first saw her doing. You know what I'm saying? And then on the flip side, women get mad at, you know, saying a guy for being such, such, and such. When you met him, he was such and such and such. We gotta stop trying to change people. People go be who they want to be. At the end of the day, you know, it's up to them to change. We gotta stop trying to change people. You know what I'm talking about? So, come on. So this, I'm giving you what men are not gonna tell you because no one wants to be called small dick energy insecure, whatever. Because if a guy tries to tell a girl, yep. listen, don't do this. She's immediately going to shame him and say, you don't mm -hmm. trust me. You're, you're controlling whatever. Mm -hmm. you're, you're toxically masculine, that. whatever the hell. We have all these conventions to shame men for keeping women in check. Yeah. So are you the type of guy that tells your girlfriend, don't go out with your friends, uh, stay at home. You're always going out like you're going to block her from like having a good time. No, I simply tell her if you're going to put yourself in compromising positions to this relationship, then I will not be with you and take you seriously. Wow. Yeah, but like you can't trust her to go out and do her own thing and no, like, stay loyal to you. Okay. Okay. So if, if I have a Lamborghini. Wait, wait. Right I want to talk about that. I want to just speak on that. Cause he's finna break it. I think he's finna break it down. Excellent. But I just want to say this and I'm going to let him go. It's not about trusting the woman. It's about the environment she's in. I don't trust the other niggas. <laughs> I don't trust the other niggas. What you? It's not about trusting you. You know what I'm saying? Anything and everything can go wrong when you're in a certain situation. You know what I'm saying? Environments are very influential. You know what I'm saying? And even the strongest and the strongest of people can be influenced by different situations. It, it doesn't matter. Certain things happen. Even if, even if you are completely, completely on top of your game, completely on top of your game, things can still go wrong. Things can still happen. All right. And so it's called prevention. All right. And so let, let, let them talk. I'm going to see what going to say. system. It's a night, you know, it's, it's, crazy secure bulletproof everything mm -hmm. and i park it in fucking opalaka right <laughs> and i walk away even though the car is you know secure i would still be stupid to leave it there unlocked mm -hmm. yeah you know think, what i'm saying like yeah think about this right when you go out in public and you're in your zone or whatever you're at a party or whatever you might be solid in what you believe but the outside forces can affect you. Like you might be lit, whatever, and things just happen. So he's not saying, oh, you know, trust me. He's saying, you know what? In that environment, the door's open. Things can happen. So as a boyfriend, mm -hmm. I want to protect my girl from all those outside dangers. That's what he's really saying. You know what? Hold on, fuck it. You know what? Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Now it's time. All right, guys, I got a story to tell, all right? <laughs> all right, even, okay, I thought, I was like, wait, ain't number five seconds left. I'm like, ain't number five seconds left in the clip. How, how, how am I going to get in? Okay. Anyway. Anyway, so that's it for that video. You know what I'm saying? Um, very interesting uh, thoughts and opinions there, uh, especially the end. The end was very telling, um, very telling indeed. I want to know your guys' thoughts and opinions on letting your lady go out. You know what I'm saying? But the thing about it is a lot of the times when you find the right person, when you find somebody who's going to you know, hold it down for the long term, they don't go out like that. So... I personally, I haven't had that that issue, you know what I'm saying? Because she don't go out like that, you know? And so when, like I said earlier, when you meet somebody in an environment and they love to do certain things, it's going to be very unlikely that you're going to change that person. And then eventually, more than likely, whatever you're trying to change about them is going to be the downfall of the relationship, it, even if it's not right then. It's going to be later on because they're going to want to do this certain thing. And they're going to feel like you holding them hostage. You know what I'm saying? And so with that being said, we got to stop trying to find these women in the incorrect places, <laughs> you know? And so um, it's it's just one of those things where if she if she's not going to change, which is the likelihood of her changing is very low, but if she's not going to change, man. You got to 
get out of there. You gotta get out of there. Or you know, you 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 can stay around just to get you a look. Some something. But anyways, man, that's it, man. That's my thoughts and opinions on that video. Look, comment down below in the comment section so we can have further conversation. Make sure you like this video and also subscribe. I'll see y'all in the next one. Continue to grind, continue to shine. My name is David Hughes Jr. and I'm out.